Hello, um, today I'm going to start uh, looking at uh, Vectorworks. Um, we all have Vectorworks, there's one thing is you'll see this edge, see this gray edge. This is usually the paper size, which means you know you can set up how big this paper is in, the, uh, in real life, and when you draw it, you know, this is usually the area you print. Um, just ignore this this drawing uh, I put down here. Um, so for example, um, you want to go to, before you start, every time you want to go to document settings and you want to go to units, you can set up units. Because uh, right now we're doing feet, uh, which means um, what this means is in the precision, you know, they have all kinds of um, um, setup down here. What that, what that means is, for example, I use line tool. If I draw a line, see in here, um this this number is basically based on feet okay um you can tell okay um that's basically what that means so um and then see here i draw a line and once you draw a line you can set up uh how long it was um this is a uh, rel um, relative um width uh, i make it 100 then you will become bigger, see 100, okay? So first thing is uh, units, and then you wanna go, to, you wanna make sure, uh, you wanna go to page setup, you wanna make sure how big is your paper, okay? For example, you can set up inch, uh, you can go to print setup, um, and then you can choose, for example, uh, if you choose, see this letter, and you can choose A3 and click OK. See, they will automatically change 11 by 17. You know, um, click OK. See, and then the paper changed. Okay. Um, so, page setup, that's really important. And then the other thing is you can go to document settings and then you can go to document setup. Um, here is scale. There is a scale down here. Okay, you can pick the scale you want. Um, so these are all kind of scale. Right now we use one, one inch equals fifty feet. If we change one inch equals thirty feet, well actually one inch equals twenty feet. If you click OK, click OK, you will see this line become longer. Okay, so um, that's very cool. So you can see things on um, real time. So you you won't confused about you know how the scale or anything. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing we're talking about. Uh, then the second, draw shapes. You know, every shape. So this, there's a lot of basic shapes you can draw, uh, and this is all the snapping tool. You sometimes snap it to grid. You see, when you zoom in, we have grid down here. Um, I think we can uh, in here. The grid is based on feet and. Uh, um, check. Uh, actually, every grid is. Uh, in real life, every feet is a grid. Okay, that's basically what that means. Um, so, um, and and every shape you draw, see here, you draw shape. There will be a panel down here. You can put data on it. You can render them. Uh, you can put a little setup. Okay, this rotation. See here, I can make rotations if I want. Um, and then the other thing is. You know, and also you can draw polylines, and when you draw, see, uh, this is polylines, but here, there's different mode. Okay, you can continue with the straight line, and then, you know, I, we can, I can choose different kinds of uh, polylines I want. Okay, um, like, you know, like go back to this again, so. You can you can choose, okay, um, and then once you have all those, you there's also attributes. So what this was is you can change color. See here, you can pick all different colors. So there's a lot of color selections in here. Um, you can pick. Um, let me draw another shape. Um, here you can draw. You can choose pattern. You know, there's all different kinds of patterns. 
showing up down here. Okay. Um, and then we have things again. You know, we, we we can also choose hatch. Okay, for hatch, you can actually do setup down here. Uh, you can also, you know, um, go to resource manager. There's a lot of hatch in here. Okay, uh, for example, for plants, you can put things down here. You know, um, there are just a lot of options. And then also you could see you can. You know, you can some hatch have transparency, um, like this one. You can set up transparency here is through this opacity. You can set up transparency here and click OK. So you will, so you can change all the drawings you want to do. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is um, attribute mapping, which means when you click this attribute mapping tool, you select, for example, select this one. And then you can do like scaling, you know, see it become bigger, become bigger. Um, that's basically what what that was. Okay, really cool. Um, so this is um, this, and then you can do uh, you can change the line type. For example, this is a line you can you know this is solid. You can change colors, see it become green. Um, for this one, you can change to different kind of line type you know th we will have a lot of different ways to present lines okay um, you know if you if I choose this one so see it changed okay um, so pretty much uh, all this and then we, we can go uh, to text see here you can type. It's pretty straightforward. Um, what this was is uh, you can type. Once you finish typing, you can pick up different uh, versions like the font, the size. You know, you can choose. Okay. Um, the other good thing is style. So you can pick different kinds of style you want. Okay, so this is style one. Um, and for the style, you could um, actually go to source manager. See here, this is the style we have. Um, you can double click and edit. You can edit style. Okay, so um, that's really cool. So you can they can remember the style. For example, um, we can let's use uh, this dimension tool. Okay, and uh, you will see. Uh, okay, sorry. Let me just do it again. You click the one point, the other point, and then double click. Um, this dimension tool you can see here. There's green dots. See the green dots? What this means is dynamic, which means you move this, the dimension moves. Okay, because it's connected to the points of this shape. Okay, um, all the dimensions. Um, like let's let's do this one two. So this, we have two dimensions. Uh, oh, sorry. Let me just. So, what this was is, um, you can set up different. For example, uh, the color is it's all black, and then if, for example, if I change the bold and, you know, um, and then here, see it changed, and then if I drag. This one to here, to autom automatically add um, the underline, and then if I pick, um, make them bold and you know, uh, italic, and then click OK. See, both of these two will change. So, um, style, text style is really handy. Um, like, for example, this text style is um, title block, so we just go to Title blocks, just find out title block is this one, and then we can edit and we can make the size, you know, like 15. Click OK. So, see here, it become bigger. So, that's.
that's a benefit of using um, the resource manager to change text styles um, and remember uh, also remember we have dimension association which means when the screen starts anything you change you know your dimensions will change with them okay um, but if uh, then also make sure you can choose those see here you can choose those two different version of it um, but if you pick this um, I guess there's too much um, this need to be deleted this need to be deleted and then see since all this is green um, see this is not green which means um, when you move this is gonna stay okay so um, there are some limitations on the dynamic dimension okay thanks